Hey everybody, Michael here. There has been quite a bit of news that has come out since yesterday when we really started hearing people talking about this new or recent Xbox One exploit. What I thought that I would do here today is I would kind of take some of my notes and present them to you with at least the way that I understand everything as of this moment. So we're going to begin with the very first item that I have here, and that is is that on June the 8th of 2024, it was discovered that now we have access to user and kernel level code execution on system OS. Now, this is compatible with all of the Xbox One, Series S and X, and the Series S and X running this firmware version right here. Now, going back to System OS, System OS is kind of this VM where all of the store UWP apps run after enabling dev mode. Is obviously where you can pay Microsoft a fee and you are then a registered developer, which means that you could unlock the developer mode on the Xbox where you could test, you know, the apps that you were currently building. Now, the exploit author themselves say that you can't run backups with this hack and it won't allow piracy. Now, I will say that this last part here, that it won't allow piracy, is a pretty hard pill for me to swallow, mainly because I've already seen what people are able to do today in dev mode. So for example, you know, running Xbox 360 games or emulators or so forth. But this also makes a lot of sense from a legal perspective. I wrote on Twitter that I don't believe that anybody from this team should be in any way, shape, or form associated with piracy with what this is. That will just beg all of the different types of legal and lawsuits and all of that other work to just come on them pretty strong. Now, they did break this out into two parts, one being a user mode. So this is through downloading the game script application and that there is a kernel part. And what it says here is this part uses a kernel vulnerability to achieve arbitrary kernel read write and elevate the process's privileges. And then if you see right after that section, Emma wrote full transparency, this part isn't done yet. But then goes and follows up with hopefully soon I will have an exploit to share with everyone. If you would like to play around with it using this, then I'd recommend updating a console to the latest stash downloading the game script, running it, and taking the console offline. And I've obviously got a video in case you want to get your Xbox One system. It will be linked in the description below. So finally, what do we get out of all of this? Well, for one, it seems like you'll get dev mode for free, which it's only a single one-time fee, so you're not saving that much. And then I would obviously say those homebrew application, like the emulator, I would expect us to be able to play any Xbox 360 game on our Xbox One running inside of this mode being offline. But we're really just going to have to wait and see. For myself, there really wasn't any sort of risk here because I already had a system that was literally sitting in the closet waiting to be used for something. Now, I obviously have other Xbox consoles, but just to get that shot at potentially having something you know, neat like this was worth it for me. It may or may not be worth it for you. Anyway, thanks so very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Michael, out.